called cones and rods to process light. Did you know we have 120 million rods and 7 million cones in each eye? Rods see in black, white, shades of gray to form shapes. Cones is colors that are more helpful than normal bright light. Together, cones and rods will give you a total picture. Hi, I'm Maddie. I will explain to you about retinitis pigmentosa. It is a nine disease in which there is damage to the retina and gets worse over time. The rods are the rods are most likely to be affected, but in some cases, retinal cone cells are damaged the most. The main size of, sign of this disease is the presence of dark lines in the retina. As the disease gets worse, peripheral vision is gradually lost. The condition may eventually lead to blindness, but usually not complete blindness. Signs and symptoms often first appear in childhood, but severe vision problems do not usually develop until early adulthood. The main risk factor is the family history. Hi, my name is Stephen. While researching the human eye, we found a project recently done by MIT. The idea was to place a chip inside the eye behind the retina. The chip was encased in titanium to make it water and corrosion proof. A special pair of glasses with the camera connected to it sends the images to a microchip in the back of the eye sent up the optic nerve to the brain. Hi, my name is Yasmin. The eye implant is designed for people who have lost their vision from retinitis, pigmentosa, or age-related macular degeneration, two of the leading causes of blindness. The retinal implant is would take over for the function of lost retinal cells by electrically stimulating the nerve cells that normally carry visual input from the retina to the brain. <coughs> Hi, my name is Justin. Our enhancement is to replace the glasses with contact lenses. About one in 4,000 people in the United States are genetically impacted. Those who have symptoms of blindness will benefit from the use of these contacts. The vision won't be perfect, but a person may be able to see the different shapes and faces in a real world better. Hi, my name is Will. This is how our system works. A small battery-powered camera installed in the contact lens will record video. When objects are recording in the camera, the images are wirelessly sent to the microchip. From here, the intelligence <coughs> processes the super optic chip on or near the optic nerve. Using electron transfer, the signals are, are sent up the optic nerve into the brain. <coughs> Hi, my name is Ken. These device, this device is small and it needs very little power. We transmit power to the implant very efficiently at a low frequency while data is being transferred to the <coughs> transferred to the optic super optic chip in a high frequency. Scientists have tested this device out in Yucatan miniature pigs. Since Yucatan miniature pigs' eyes are roughly the same size as human eyes. These tests have determined that the device is functional and is safe. Hi, my name is Brady. Our contacts also have a zoo capability. This can help people without the airplane. It will assist kids with glasses or adults who wear contacts to improve and strengthen vision over time. This small handheld remote will be used to control the zoom capability. Thank you for letting me share our view with you. Do you have any questions? Yes. Yes, lots. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did your team decide what problem to study? Um, we just, so we all came up with our own uh, idea to study on and then we just voted on like we voted on which one had the most votes like who wanted to do the uh, most we <coughs> got down in the bionic eye and this will be when we bionic eye type thing we could find yeah, I don't know. Oh. Mm -hmm. it wasn't like it came down from, from all the research he technically just did a research and then um, he, uh, like I like researched respiratory system or problems like asthma or something, and someone did vision vision problems, and from, we picked we actually picked vision problem, and within that 
problem, we had to pick another problem, and we picked, chose people that are at 90 seconds. Okay. Um, what, uh, how did you make the research? We all like, we all chose what to research, and then we researched it, and we kind of just had the research, and then, so like, um, so when we would choose like one cast of research, then everyone would research on that one thing. Yeah. <coughs> oh. But we also, to divide up the um, what, who said what and information, we used, a, um, we all came up with a um, speech layout. Like, um, one person would describe um, how the um, wireless connection would be sent up to the optic nerve and so on and others. And we just divided it up into sections which would be best to say. And what kind of resources did you use for your research? Like, did you just mainly do internet or books or people? We did use it. We did also use books. Yeah, we yeah. books and we are going to went to an eye doctor. Yeah. Oh. And um, she verified our information as correct. And how did you come up with your uh, contacts design? Did you like have an idea to begin with and then modify? So what was your original idea? We all had our, like once we uh, figured out what we were going to research on, um, we, we all did, like, we all thought of ideas to, or inventions to help improve it, and then we, uh, they chose the one which seemed to, well, the one that everyone voted on that was like the best one. Eventually, the people who made the model decided to use my legs to come back on it. And it was a nice And can you briefly explain how um, the zoom in camera would send the signals to the optic nerve? We all said it would be wirelessly sent it to here, which is, which is the implant. And the implant will have this wire. Send it to the super optic chip and turn it up. And if you want to zoom in, it might turn because it's kind of like a camera. Mm -hmm. Would that cause any discomfort to the user? I I may not say. We didn't work out the contact design all the way. We we did though. We did think about like placing like a sliver, small, um, like a a thing on the. Um, like layer the, um, on the contact lenses, like in between, on the side, off to the side, which would um, the controller would send off signal technically to the um, that layer. I don't know what I would call it. It would, call um, it. It would do just like the yeah. new cameras today, where nothing comes out. It would just like turn it or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, would these be like normal contact lenses, where you have to yeah. take them out before you go to bed? And um, if so, are they reusable, or do you have to keep them? Are you there are reusable and um yes if if your doctor gets the right ones then yes you can wear it to bed. Okay. Um economically mm -hmm. and viable to make them disposable. Okay, and um did you present to anyone? So after working on your project, what's the most important thing that your team learned? Um, cooperation and how to work together, I guess. Ideas 
or something and then now we are agreeable and we agreed to a lot of things. Uh, we also played a, the three game. It's called Have You Ever, Solid Order, and Human Knot. In the Human Knot, you have to, everyone grabs each other's hand and you cannot grab that person. I see you, like, if I grab his hand, that's me. That's, that, that will break the rule of the game. So you have to listen to your other teammates how to get back into a full circle. So team building exercises. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. So we've run out of time, but thank you so much. You guys did really, really well. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for the chocolates. <laughs>